Good morning. It's still morning by a couple of minutes here. Somebody's in morning. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Total out of body experience today. I named it the Twilight Zone. So we're going to go to the Twilight Zone together today. I feel it coming very out of body today. So not a bad out of body experience. Kind of enjoying it. <laughs> so I hope that you guys can gain something from this. I have no idea where it's coming from. We're just going to see where it wants to go today. So, um, being more conscious of stepping out of ego. Ego is really kind of taking the back seat today. So, I think that's you, Melanie. Good morning. How are you? Nope, Laura. It's Laura. Good morning. Very out of body today. That's where I am. I don't know where you are. I know I pulled a card and it's funny because it was details, details. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what I'm feeling today is we, as, um, as the human race, we get lost in the details. We've got so much going on in our worlds. We've got people that need us. We've got uh, stuff, animals, pets, bills to pay, all these things. And we can get so lost in all the details, I think. Maybe Bernadette. <laughs> you guys, tell me who's here. We're just getting started. I don't want to take off too fast today. It feels like it's really important to be here today together. So I hope that you'll kind of hang in there with me. Let me know how you're doing. And we'll get rolling here in a few minutes. I want to know how you're feeling, so Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning. I can't always tell your your um, little photos up there who's with me. So <sighs> it's noon. <laughs> It's noon here. <clears throat> I'm kind of very, very um, out there today. I call this the twilight zone. I feel like we're working our way to something. We've been working our way to something for a long time. And this is not a bad out there experience for me. I, I literally just have a sense of peace and a sense of calm. Something that I don't always have. <laughs> Oftentimes when I come in here to the group, I can start up very, very ego, um, into the ego, very, you know, like it's frazzled and all that stuff. And so today it's, um, I have a real sense of calm. I like it. If this is what we're coming to, I, um, I'm okay. I'm perfectly okay with being in this space. So who else wants to join me? We're going to get rolling here in just a minute. I like to give people a few minutes to catch up. I can show you the card. It was so fitting to me today. I don't spend a lot of time in the books. I don't spend a lot of time with cards, things like that. But but I do love when I pull a card and it is exactly what I'm feeling. So the card is very interesting anyway. It's all about the details today. It's all about where I've been for the past 24 hours. Is um, <clears throat> spending a lot of time sorting between, hi Kimberly, sorting between what the ego has been programmed to do and what happens when we start to move out of that programming. I want you for just a little while today to pretend that you are a computer. Steve was an IT specialist, so, so I feel like this is all him coming through to me today. Pretend that you are a computer and that you, from <clears throat> when you decided to come here, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little hoarse. <clears throat> when you decided to come here into this physical body, you uh, chose to have a certain type of programming. You, you chose the programming that you needed that would help you to gain the experience that you needed to grow, to have the soul growth that you really chose to have. I know I'm out there. I told you I warned you it's Twilight Zone. So here you are. You've decided, I need this programming. I need this software downloaded. It's in my system. And, and so you're born and here it comes. Big download. And we all know that we're going through downloads still. It's not something that just happened at birth. It continues. But as we advance, it feels as if the old programming is losing its ground. That's how I feel today. It's losing its ground. It's as I'm willing to work, as all of us are willing to work at healing those old wounds, at just allowing ourselves to let go of control, because I, I feel like that's a big part of this today. What are you holding on to so tightly? 
that it holds you in a pattern where all you're doing is circling. You're going around and around and around. Many times we feel like we're just on that hamster wheel and we're not really getting anywhere. We're just spinning. We're just going through the motion. Hi, Erica Hoppy. Good morning. Um, I feel like we're in a time where we're starting to break free of the hamster wheel. I am definitely in a space this morning of not being on the hamster wheel. And I don't know where it came from, honestly. It just came over me. It was like, oh, hello. And I like it. I really like it because it feels as if a part of my ego that was really holding me back suddenly was moved out of my way. And I'm in this space of, okay, I got all this emptiness now inside of me good emptiness, good empty space that I can fill, that I can allow for my higher self to come in and start saying, okay, these are the things that you, like this beautiful guidance comes through. And the things that I want to do while I'm here still in physical form are now opening up to me. That's what it feels like. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to create that space. So, you know, we're, we're looking at the card and it's all about details, details. We can be so open and willing and waiting for change. Great, can really the best place we can be. Because we're so programmed to think that we've got to control. We've got to hold on tight. We got to try to push the water. We got to try to make things happen. We came here thinking that everything was somehow that we had control over all these things in our egoic state. And that we were going to make things happen exactly. And so many of us still have that old programming where we think that we've got to make it happen. Waiting for a second. Let it come through. This is what I mean. Do we have to fill every second? Do we have to try to not have any uncomfortable moments where people are silent? Do we have to try to force people to be happy? Do we have to try to force people to go down the same path that we've gone down? Do we have to try to force people to believe the same thing that we believe? Those are all things. Every single one of us is completely unique. There has not one person on the planet that can say that they're the exact replica of anyone else. Even identical twins are completely different souls. Completely different. That's what's so miraculous about how this was all created. We're all completely different. We all see things through completely different eyes. Our souls are so unique. It's so amazing. And somewhere along the way, we just got it all confused. We decided... Because the ego was trying to keep the human race alive, the ego got on hyperdrive and said, oh, they're different than you. You need to be afraid of them. Different skin tones, different belief systems, different sexual orientation, different religion, different political views, different, 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 different countries, different states, different... What makes it so scary? Why are those people, why are those things that when you look at them, you think they're different than you? Why does that scare you? It's old programming. It's that old programming that is trying to work its way out of the world, and it is going out kicking and screaming every step of the way. It's dragging. It's leaving claw marks. Right, we have oneness. We need to remember oneness. We need to remember that we can be together, that we can that we can all be completely unique and yet we can all be one. That's what's so amazing is that all of this energy it breaks up into a billion pieces and goes off in its own ways. We all get to and you get to too. That's the truth, is you've got this this part of you that's the, the operating system, the part of you that, that has never really experienced life, and it's right there. Your operating system is right there. And you've chosen to have all of these different experiences. <clears throat> and in the process of choosing to have all of these different experiences, sorry, I'm freezing up a little bit. And in the process of choosing to have all these different experiences, you've gotten yourself all wrapped up. 
in your physicality and in holding on and clinging and trying to force an outcome mm -hmm. and trying to force other people to be in that outcome or to not be in that outcome. Our own thoughts. Exactly, Kimberly. Let's see. Let me see. Hi, Angel. Good morning. Glad you're listening today. We are stronger together. We are stronger together. And and it's, we can't fully come together. See, here's the paradigm in that, the conundrum. We can't fully come together until we learn to accept each other's differences. It's not, oneness doesn't mean that we're all becoming exactly the same. That is not it. Don't get that in your head. Oneness means that we can agree to disagree. It means that we can look upon each other and actually value one another's opinions and actually, like, ponder them. And sometimes we just agree to disagree. We just look at each other and we go, okay, it's, it's interesting that you see it that way. That's how our creator energy, that's how God, whoever you call that creator, that's how this was all meant to be. <clears throat> like a billion different <clears throat> viewpoints because that's so interesting. <laughs> it's so interesting. Why would God, why would... Why would anybody make a creation and, and then split off into a billion different pieces of exactly the same clone? <laughs> Think about it. How boring would that be? <laughs> like, I'm not really having, I'm only having one experience. That's all, all it would provide if we were all exactly the same. We would get one experience, one identical experience. All of us would have the exact same experience. We'd be walking around the earth, looking, thinking, feeling exactly the same as each other. And some people seem to think that that would be preferable somehow. I'm like, this is my experience, and I want everybody else to have the, the same experience that I'm having. And I'm going down this path, and then everybody else should come down this path with me. And I have this belief system, and everybody else should believe exactly the same as I do. And everybody should look the same. Like, I want them all to have the same skin tone, and I want the same eye color, and I want them all to have that. Come on. Come on. How foolish is that? How silly. We are supposed to be completely, we are created to be completely different. Completely. There's no reason. Everybody has a very unique path. And everybody has very unique gifts. And even if we say, I'm a medium, and you might say, well, I'm a medium too. And then we would compare how we experience spirit. And each one of us would have a totally different experience. I might play the piano and you might play the piano. And yet, I do it differently. I do it my way. I might learn it from somebody and then I'm going to go and take it and do it my way because I'm created to be completely unique and different just as you are. So every experience that we have, you can take two children and they can grow up in the exact same home. They can have the exact same parents. They can eat the same food off the table. They can have identical bedrooms. <laughs> they can have everything. Whatever the, the parent gets one child, they make sure to get the other child the exact same thing. They can have the exact same experience. And that, and it, it, it's still, at the end of that, when they become adults, they will both look back and have completely different ideas of what they experienced growing up. They might have a few correlations. Of course they will. But they will see things. They will each see things differently. One of those children could go on to be an attorney and you know, or doctor or whatever, go to college for whatever and, and be what the society would consider highly successful. And the other one might just go sit on a mountaintop someplace <laughs> and ponder and meditate. And we would choose which one was more successful. One of them might be homeless and experiencing life as, as someone who has great lack, while the other one might be very, very wealthy. Who's the winner? Who's winning? Neither one of them. They're both having a, an experience, a completely unique experience. Whatever way their soul is chosen, it needs to go. So, and yet the rest of us will sit there and judge. We'll listen. Well, mom is telling us all about her children. She's like, I did everything exactly the same. I gave them all, all the same experiences. Why did one of my children become so successful and the other one is a total failure? We hear it all the time. And I think that we need to reconsider. There is no failure. Really, there's no true success other than just being, just being and continually recreating yourself, continually experiencing life. You might choose to be homeless for a month or a year or three years or 10 years, because what an experience that is to be able to sit on a park bench 
and watch the world go by. As a matter of fact, I believe Eckhart Tolle was very close to that. Highly educated man, psychiatrist, had a lot of mental health issues himself. And he just stopped one day, wanted to kill himself, and said, I'm going to sit on this park bench. I think he did it, what, two, three years? Sat on the park bench and watched people. And he watched the birds. And he felt the breeze on his face. And he just experienced life. It was just being. He stepped away from what his mother would have considered great success to allow himself to be. And then he became something. I can't even put it into words. It's the same thing that we all work to become. It is stepping out of learning how to have that out of body twilight zone experience where you're just in the moment and your programming just kind of goes offline, <laughs> that egoic programming. And somehow you just allow yourself to be for a little while. The rest of it doesn't matter. The details don't matter. They don't really matter. What car you're driving, what bills you got to pay, what your kids are doing in college. It's, it's lovely to watch them grow up. It's lovely <laughs> to watch them find ways that, that, that feed their souls. But what really matters is that you're here now, in this moment, breathing. And the rest of it can melt away. I'm here now. And then in the next moment, I'm going to be here now. And I'm going to be here now. And if that means that I go sit on top of a mountain today, every morning we wake up and we're like, what am I going to do today? Well, in order for me to feel like I'm some kind of successful individual on the planet, I got to make sure that I'm you know, washing my dishes and cleaning the floors and <laughs> mowing my lawn and making sure I plant a flower bed because people are going to walk by and they're going to, oh, look at, look at how beautiful the yard is, you know? Like I got to worry about what other people are thinking about me all the time. Um, I might do a couple shows, I might, you know, start a class, I might do all these things, or, or maybe I'll choose to be today. Which one is, which one is more important? Is it more important for me to do, 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 or is it more important for me to be? <laughs> Told you we're going to the Twilight Zone today. I think today it's important for me to be. And I think it's important for you to be. And all the other stuff, all the details, they're still there. They're not going anywhere. They're not, they're, it, the world is not going to come crashing down if you just say, you know what, today I'm only going to be. <laughs> I'm just going to be today. I don't have any plans. People come along and they're like, what are you going to do with yourself today? I'm just going to be. I'm going to be today. <laughs> I think that's really our most important reason for being on the planet. We're just here to be. Does that mean that we choose not to ever do anything physical? No, we're going to do all that stuff that's icing on the cake. But if I don't take the time to just be, then the rest of it just doesn't really come together the way that it should. When I take that time to sit on the park bench, go sit on a mountaintop, listen to the birds sing, be still, everything else just seems to fall into place. There's, there's this this added benefit not only are we just allowing ourselves to get centered and grounded and all those things we talk about the added benefit is that if you spend a day where you allow yourself to just be I'm not going to do anything today i'm just going to be and you feed your soul all day long the next day when you wake up those things that you thought were going to be so difficult suddenly just kind of fall into place and you're like how did that happen Suddenly, I don't have to do that hard stuff anymore. It just kind of took care of itself. Or maybe it's still there to do, and yet when you do it, you're like, gosh, that just, that thing that I was so afraid of doing, it's so easy. It's done already. I do it all the time. I notice it in small pieces. It used to be, you know, I raised six kids. It used to be washing dishes was like such a chore. You know, cleaning my house was such a chore, and I still have that old wiring sometimes that tells me, I don't, ugh, I don't even want to get out of bed. I got so much to do. <laughs> and then I take some time to just be. And I go downstairs, and yeah, there's some dishes in the, okay, I just do them all, making my tea. I, I get the dishes cleaned up. 
And yesterday I got up early and I went out and mowed the lawn and I was thinking that would be a big job. It wasn't a big job at all. I got it done and I was like, oh, I still got all day. It's just done. I don't really, it's not as difficult. It's only the old wiring that makes us think that life is supposed to be difficult. And when we allow ourselves to get into the new wiring, to be in stillness, to just be, somehow those things that we thought were going to be so difficult just aren't. It's true. <laughs> Laura, I know. So me too. So what do we do today? I'm just going to be. I often, when I go to get on one of these shows, I'm like, okay, uh, you go, you go kick some. What are we supposed to talk about? What are we going to do? What, what if nobody shows up? What if this? What if that? Guess what? From here on out, and this is what I typically do anyway, even though my ego has a little fight with me, I'm just going to sit here and if five people come in, if five people overall, if one person watches and gains from it, it's enough. I've always said that. I don't got to pull in great big huge crowds. I don't have to please anybody else. I don't have to say what people want me to say. I don't have to say what what I think people want to hear. I can just be, which means that as I'm sitting here and I'm letting my ego take a nice nap, but you can tell she's taking a nice nap today, the higher self comes in and the higher self just allows the message to unfold and just talks easy. It's so easy. Imagine now. You learn how to make that shift. You sit here, because I was never like this when I was younger. I was a nervous wreck. So now you've learned how to make that shift into the higher self, which is what I teach all the time in Voice of the Spirit. If you haven't, I, I, I feel like that's getting to be a more powerful thing. <laughs> it needs to keep expanding. But you make that shift, and suddenly, okay, i got to go get a job. And you just somehow, the perfect opportunity for an interview comes up. And then you go to that job interview and you sit there in this space of, mm, I left my ego at home today. I don't need that old scary ego. The ego is only afraid of stuff anyway. So I'm going to stay in that shift now, which is what I feel like we're coming to. It used to be we could make that shift sometimes if we were good and <laughs> make that shift into the higher self. And we could hold it for a little while. What we're coming to, and I need you to hear me on this. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Kimberly. What I need you to hear on this is that what you are coming to is an end to, I don't want to say death because that sounds scary. What we're coming to is this place where that old wiring, that programming, the software that we were talking about for the ego, the part of the, part of the ego that has been wired to bring fear and anxiety and all those lower vibrational experiences, that part of the ego is melting away. We're all at different stages of this happening. And yet all of us, and then you'll notice those people who are very stuck in their 3D and have a very difficult time even realizing, admitting that there might even be a difference between the ego and the higher self. <laughs> There's a lot of them. They're doing crazy stuff. Because that ego, that, that fear that darker part of us, the darker part of humanity is literally being dragged out, kicking and screaming. And it's not pretty. And there's don't even look at the news. It's, it's a horrible place sometimes. Those of us who are aware, those of you guys that watch me all the time, pat yourself on the back. You're coming to a new age, a new era where your ego comes into alignment with your higher self and you get to be I don't even want to put a word after that you get to just be life gets easier bliss peace love all those things become your focus and what would what would you do if suddenly you had no fear what would you do if you had no limitation what would you do if you could manifest just like that? If you were like, well, you know what? I've always wanted this house, this house. This is my dream house. And you sit down and you focus your energy on that dream house and you see it. And then you see yourself there. You see yourself walking around. You see yourself cooking in the kitchen. You feel, you rub your hands, feel your hands running across those marble 
countertops. It's cool and it's smooth and it's clean and it feels so good. And suddenly you realize one day that you're in that house. You are creating it. And then all of a sudden you look around you and you're like, there it is. I did it. It still takes some time right now. We're coming to a time where it's not going to take any time. We have to get rid of the fear first. Because if we, if we work from those lower vibrations, we're creating things that we don't want. So all of humanity is moving its way out of fear and into this place of abundance and peace and just unconditional love. Non-judgment. We don't need to judge each other anymore. If we're oneness, if we, then we get to be different. <laughs> Imagine living in a world, all of us, I think pretty much everyone that watches this, you've all felt like you're an alien on this planet. You're like, I just don't fit in. Imagine living on a planet where everyone fits in. We value one another's differences. We look upon each other with love, unconditional love, and we think, wow, you're really cool. You're really different from me, and you are one of the coolest people I've ever experienced. And everyone on the planet is like that. Can you imagine? We look upon each other with unconditional love, what we all wanted and longed for from the time we came to this earth, what we are all created from. We're all like cookie, cookies that have been cut from the same cloth or the same dough. <laughs> dough sounds better. And so those cookies came along, and every one of them had its own cookie cutter. Every single one of them was completely different, and yet we are all cut from the same cloth, and that cloth or that dough is unconditional love. So at the core of all of us, we are all capable. Every single person on the planet is capable of coming to this place, because at the root of all of us, is we're made from the same ingredients. So it's difficult it's not easy walking through the world and seeing all this craziness going on around us. Remember, they're cut from the same cookie dough as you. <laughs> They'll get there one of these days. It'll be okay. Good morning, Michael. It'll be okay. And in the meantime, we're here to be the way showers. Step out ahead and say, oh, it's unconditional love. So <sighs> ask that ego to take a break. You're getting help with this. You're wiring. You are getting new downloads. Your software is being upgraded. You will see more and more and more how much easier life is becoming and how much easier it is to look upon others with unconditional love. It's part of who you're becoming. The imagination of becoming. Imagine becoming your true self, your truest nature, which is unconditional love. Imagine being, this is what you are when you step out of physical. So you're still in physical, and yet you get to be it. That's where humanity's going. Isn't that amazing? Everything that you are is right there, right there. When you step out of physical form, you remember, oh my gosh, what have I been doing? <laughs> Why did I hurt people? Why did I, how could I do that? It's programming. It's only your software. When you step out and that software melts away, suddenly you're everything again. You get to be everything. Well, imagine now. Humanity is coming to a place where we don't have to step out of physical to be everything that we are. The old belief patterns, all of those, the old wiring falls away. And you look in the mirror and you go, mm -mm. this is cool. This is cool. I'm finally me. I finally get to be all of me without limitation, without fear. It's amazing. I'm just, I think I feel thankful and grateful to be alive today. And I'm grateful for all of you for sharing it with me. So why don't we go into a little meditation time together, anyone that wants to join me. And we'll just be quiet, because I really feel very quiet today. My, It is a very out-of-body experience today. I don't know if this is on the entire planet, or if it's my experience. Hi, Rebecca. Good. Um, but But I feel as if we are... In a place where suddenly we've had a big growth spurt. And I, I don't feel as if it's everyone on the planet, but I feel as if those of you who join me here, who feel as if you are meant to be a way shower, you have made a huge evolutionary leap as you slept. And you woke up this morning to new programming. It's pretty cool. Don't be uncomfortable with it. Let it happen. Let it flow. 
because it's in that taking down the, the walls and the blocks that you put up that this new programming suddenly comes online and it says, okay, we got this. We got this. We're amazing. We can do this. We're going to bring this planet into alignment with all of the rest. And suddenly we're, we're living on a planet that is filled with peace. Just unconditional love for one another. It's going to, it is happening. It's already, if we're on a timeline that's really a spiral, they already know it's happening. They're, they've already seen it happen because it's happening all right here. So even though we're here and we don't really, can't really see it yet, it's here too. Pull it in. Pull it into your existence. Just pull yourself into that place of unconditional love. You can do it anytime. Let it grow. Let it flow. Exactly. Exactly. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hearing me out when I start talking like this because my higher self sometimes doesn't have any place to talk. <laughs> my higher self is like, oh, but, oh, but, can we please talk about the moon and the stars and, and all of <laughs> creation? And so I come here and I, and I appreciate you guys for listening to me. Put your feet down. Allow yourselves. Allow yourselves to feel that beautiful earth energy. As your roots go down deep, 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 deep. Let them push them. Feel that. Push your energy from your heart. You're all big, big empathic heart people. Push your energy. Feel it here. And the slowest down. Put your hand on your heart. I know you can feel all that love right now. Archangel Michael, please protect each person that's here. With me now and in the future at any point, anyone that goes through this meditation, completely protected, completely safe. And as you got your heart underneath that hand right now, you're feeling all that love energy. I want you to concentrate on moving that love energy. So it's here in your heart. You can move it to any one of your chakras. You can move it to any part of your body. You can even send it out across the globe to someone else. You know you can do that. So I want you to imagine now, see that heart energy is green. It's green and it's glittery and it's beautiful. And I want you to just imagine now, See it moving. Push it on down your spine. See it going through your body, through those all the organs, the muscles, the bones. As it moves, it's just traveling on down, and it hits your legs, and it's going to go on down your legs. So see that green moving down your legs. Use your imagination. Down over your knees, down your shins, and into your ankles, down through your feet. You're, they're right there at the center of your feet. It gets there. And then I want you to imagine that energy going down into the earth through the root system. And as it's going, it's dragging with it any sense of fear. As it's going, it's just picking up any blocks, cords, attachments, anything that you've got in you that you're ready to release. It's just grabbing it and dragging it down with it. And it pulls it down into the earth all the way to the center, all the way to the core. The earth is a beautiful star. I really believe the earth started as a star and then she built up layers around herself. Imagine yourself as the same. You're a beautiful star with layers around you. So as you go all the way into that star, you feel that draw of energy through your feet. Feel it. She's pulling out anything that you're ready to release. So it's a matter of letting go today. What in that old programming can you release today? Please let go of anything that relates to fear. Whatever you're afraid of, let it go. It's old programming. So all of that, oh, that's an interesting feeling. Beautiful. So as you're letting go, it's going out down through, following that trail that you just made with the golden and over the green energy. It's just following that trail. And it's going all the way down into your feet and into the earth. Feel that heat. Archangel Raphael, that's why I keep seeing green. <laughs> Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is here for healing. And there's heat. So if you feel it, it's the angels. Lots of healing coming in. And all of that old programming is going right down through your feet. It's so beautiful. Let it go. Because what the earth will do is take it and recycle it for you. And then it comes back up through the earth. 
as this pure, beautiful golden light, just lighting you up as it's as it's coming back up through. You get this beautiful flow of energy in both directions, even flow. The earth loves it when we do this exchange. Same as the trees. She's showing us through the trees. You're putting out carbon dioxide. She's taking it and she's bringing back oxygen. And it's this perfect flow of energy. And it's the same way with this energy that you're ready to release in your body. This old programming, fear, all of those things, negative energy, lower vibrational energy. It all flushes right down into the earth. And she takes it and she turns it into this beautiful love energy, unconditional love. And it comes all the way back up now. I want you to imagine it coming back up. See your root system. It's all intertwined, beautiful, going around the rocks and through the clay and through all the many layers of the earth. And that energy just follows that pathway, all those little roots coming back up through. And as it does, it comes to your feet. Now I want you to take a big breath and I want you to pull all that earth energy, all recycled, refreshed, renewed, back up through your feet. Pull those roots back up in. And as you do, it comes back up into your body. And as it comes back up, it is clearing away any blocks, cords, any attachments, anything that's any old residual energy. It's just clearing away. So it's coming back up through. It hits the base of your spine. It hits your root chakra. And it goes up into your sacral. It's moving very easily. Nice. Clearing, clearing, filling you right up with all this beautiful healing energy. And it's coming up into your solar plexus. Feel it moving. And up into your heart. Oh, Isabel. Up into that beautiful heart of yours. Filling right up. Take a big breath. Send that energy out to every place in your body where it's needed. Through your cells. Every cell in your body lighting up. Bringing healing. Letting go of any thoughts of disease or weakness. Your body is listening to you. We're letting go of all those blocks of energy that are no longer serving us. We're leaving anything that may possibly ever turn into disease. It's gone. It's being cleared away. Coming up now into your throat. Clearing away that voice, allowing you to speak your truth. It's beautiful. Forget all those people that told you you couldn't speak, you couldn't tell the truth, you couldn't talk, you had to be quiet. Forget it. Let it go. Clearing it away. Taking with it any kind of grief, sadness. And it's moving up now. I feel it in the right coming up the, the back of the head through the mouth. Up into the center of the forehead, that third eye. Opening up your abilities even more. You're getting an enhancement, allowing you to see more, feel more, experience more through your light body, a light body experience, letting you really feel your higher self, letting you feel your truth, just getting a knowing. Ancient wisdom fills in all those spaces. You'll be surprised at how smart you are. And it's just filling you right up. And it's coming up now. I feel energy at both ears, clearing away, balancing you out. Angels are serving you right now. It's starting to cool down. It feels good. Coming all the way up into the crown, getting your crown spinning beautifully. Asking source energy now. Now that we're all nice and clear, asking source energy to come down over the top of your head. It's the most powerful energy there is. It's you. It's the, it's the core of who you are. Feels familiar, doesn't it? Feel your hand. Feel that heat come down over the top of your head. It's perfect. Oh, beautiful energy coming down through the crown chakra. And now it's going to flush right down through. So feel it. Feel an insulation come down around the outside of you at the same time. There is so much heat. Feel the heat in your hand coming down over your brow. And it just goes right on down, bringing healing with it. Moving all the way down through that throat and that heart. Beautiful golden energy. Pure, unconditional love. All the way down through every one of your chakras. And it gets all the way, goes all the way down to your feet. And it comes through your hands. 
Imagine it going down your arms and through your hands and opening up those hand chakras, the healing hands right here. You go out and about in the world and somebody just reaches over and touches you and you're like, and they, you feel the energy go. Sometimes you just see them, they look really sick and all of a sudden you'll feel your heart light up. That healing energy, yeah, it's in the hands right now. Can you feel it? I feel like I'm holding on to two little fires in my hands. We are capable. We are learning. We're growing. We're evolving. We can do this, you guys. We can do this. We don't need illness. We don't need disease on the planet. We don't need pain. We can move through this, you guys, if we stick together. Perfect. I hope you're feeling that heat in your hands. Now it's turning into an itch. Rub those hands together. Yay! So glad you're feeling it, Kimberly. Rub your hands together. Get it going. Now separate them. Pull them apart. What do you feel? You can see it if you'd like to. You can actually see the energy moving between your fingers. Feel it. Now I want you to do something for me. I want you to hold on to that like it's a ball and make it as big as you like to make it. You're going to send this out to whoever needs it. You might send it across the planet to wherever it's needed. You can make it general, or you might know somebody that really needs a big energy ball. We're asking Archangel Raphael to instill some energy in that ball. Asking for the healing touch of Jesus. Any ascended masters that want to come through. Source energy. Archangel Michael for protection. And that ball is solid. You can feel it between your fingers now. And I want you to just take it for just a moment. Hold it. Does your higher self, does your intuitive self tell you where it needs to go? And once you know, you're going to imagine that ball going to right where it's needed. You might have heard a name or it might be a general or to the earth itself, wherever it is. I want you to imagine yourself holding that big solid ball and now you're going to send it out to wherever it's needed. So on the count of three, you're just going to throw it. One, two, three, throw it. There it goes. And I will guarantee you that whoever you just sent that to, they'll feel it. They'll feel something hit their heart. And it'll start to do its magic. It'll just flush right on down through them and they'll go, Oh, how do I feel so good today? Why do I feel so good? Because all that beautiful energy just hit them. Well done. Well done. One more big breath. Integrate all this newness. You guys are just all brand new today. You're a brand new baby. When you take this breath, it's your first breath. Whatever is happening already in this lifetime, it doesn't matter. You're brand new today. Take a big breath. Perfect. Like all the details today, guys. Relax. Just be. Give yourself some time to be. I want you to make sure that you're feeling those hands and feet now. You're coming back completely into the physical. Don't stay out in the toilet zone too far. <laughs> Come back in a little bit with me. Ask Archangel Michael to protect every one of you today. To help you to feel safe. Clear. Open. Ready to shine. I love you guys so much. I will see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow is what? Wednesday. I'll be around. Take good care of yourselves today. Just be today. Don't worry about anything. Just be. We'll talk to you soon.